everyone, this is Nabir Watcher. It is November 6th, 2018, and I want to say thank you so much for everybody who has donated and helped me out, prayed for me, and supported my channel. Times are still a little tough. I hope to have a job um, this next weekend, or uh, about the 15th, a job that will allow me to uh, have the weekends off. So that'll be cool. I hope things go back to normal. Thank you again. Um, so, without wasting any more time, let me show you something I found uh, pretty cool. Again, another shout out to Roger Paul, YouTube subscriber, and Nibiru Hunter. So, let's just look at a still. I pause it here. This object is what they're trying to hide actually two to three planets and I'll show you why so I'll keep playing this footage notice everything's clearing out notice the spiral in the vortices coming off now it and a little earlier in this video we saw something else compelling in here we see an arc of clouds right here and we see these strange lines coming up like this in the middle of this cloud so I thought that was really cool and then in this portion of the footage we can even see the cloud the chemtrail plane taking a hard left turn there's four chemtrail planes Isn't this desperately something? trying to hide this <laughs> yeah and we're even beginning to see the early signs of the red green and purplish like bizarre rainbow thing which I think the polarized lens will help pull that out and I think it's also one of the reasons why the chemtrail in the first place they don't want us to see those halos or those bizarre strange rainbows and uh, remember this video I had about the mystery solved the spirals if you missed it you really should go back and watch it you missed 30 years of research of of uh, science and UFOs all coming to this toroidal field effect. The auto adjusting is affecting it. Can you hear the distortion on the camera? So here we have, I'm going to say, a toroidal field with the EMF magnetic force coming right directly above the person in this camera. And now, that was from Buffalo, New York. We've had others from Australia. And now from West Virginia, we have another sky watcher, Sherry Lynn, who is a great photographer. He has caught the same thing. Let's listen. Let's play that again. Storing the camera and the lens. It's a very powerful magnetic field force directly above. Surprise Roger Paul didn't catch the same thing. Oh, I have something else really cool for you. Check this out. So here we have footage of this photograph from the International Space Station. And here we have Lake Starnberg, the same similar effect just like we see the halos right and I want to show you the difference look how much lighter it is here I want to show you some of the look how dark it is the darker the pan planet the more this the the darker the eclipse the more these lines stand out in the sky so Let's look at some live footage from the International Space Station and show you something I think most people have overlooked. It is pretty stunning. So let's watch the sunrise and sunset from the International Space Station. And here's what most people usually kind of glaze over. People stare at this live feed all day long. And here is this strange halo around our sun as it rises above the Earth okay but if you want to pass that off as normal go ahead but look what happens as 
the day progresses, the, the sun passes over the simulator, or <clears throat> the sun and the sun simulator. And at the setting of the sun, look what's missing at this footage. So here comes the sun, we want to say, the real sun is truly there. But the sun simulator is white, the real sun is yellow. The sun simulator is in at altitude, and <laughs> at approximately the same altitude or elevation as the space station. It orbits around the Earth, while the Earth orbits around the sun. And look at that. We're missing the halo. What happened? How come it looks so much different? And that sets, right? And look how it sets. So we get the white sun from the simulator, the true yellow sun behind it, and then we get the red effect of the sun and this strange laser effect as well. And then it goes dark. Okay, so that is supposed to be the sun. Where went the halo earlier today when it rose? Why does it look so different? Because there was an eclipse between the two. I'll explain. That is the biggest purpose for the sun simulator. That and the sun itself is failing. Let's just watch this quick video of what we saw the sun. But notice where the light is on the left side. What is this? That's what we just saw. It's not rising or falling. It's just turning off and on. Hmm. Looks like the International Station is and doing some repairs or manipulating with the, <laughs> the sun simulator. Yes, the real sun is truly up there. Here's some more footage I caught. Kind of keep showing the same thing. Uh, actually, that was what I already showed you. I apologize. You can see the sun setting again. Totally different looking than previously, right? So here's another footage of the space station doing something nefarious, I'm sure. Look at that. What do you think is happening there? There's no sun in sight until right at the very edge. The crescent of light was all the way over here. Mirror relay system? Plasma? Well, well obviously they got more than one sun simulator. In fact, they'll show you footage in the older videos too at the same time. Right? Look at that. And again, a real quick demonstration of why they do all this. I wish I would have had a yellow light on that ceiling because that would represent the sun. We introduce a sun simulator. This, the Earth orbits around. This orbits around the Earth at the same altitude. Then we have I use a piece of paper to demonstrate the fakeness and the closeness and the smallness diameter of the sun, which has a lens in front of it. The paper represents chemtrail clouds or clouds. When the clouds are low altitude, we have a big sun, and at a high altitude, we've got a small sun, like a flashlight effect. That would be impossible if it were the real sun. And then, when an object passes between the sun and our earth we, we we would have an eclipse but instead we get these dark halos instead because we've got a sun simulator in front of it contained with shot to shine with a lens in front of it making the sun simulator appear bigger than it actually is now remember the actual true sun if should never change in size no matter how many clouds are looking through it because it's so far away that the light rays are basically straight Look how sharply changed. That alone should convince anybody of a sun simulator. Why is it chant went from here to here? That's ridiculous. And it is a lens. The dark shadow is not the planetary object, but a lens. We're not watching this thing eclipse. The whole darkness appears almost simultaneously. And sometimes we get those lovely rainbows on the left and right side of this object as well. So, please go and uh, copy and subscribe to Sherry Lynn. She's a great catch. I'm sure there's going to be more TRB3 proof, toroidal fields, and missing things. And remember, Planet X is real. It's not a hologram. I've seen it and felt it with my own eyes. The Elite 
are not hiding in their deep underground military bunkers from a hologram. Holograms do not cause 8.2 deep record-breaking earthquakes, strange tides, missing waters, volcanic activity around the world, including Yellowstone, scientists being killed, growing numbers of scientists, including everything on the stevequail.com website, who is tracking all the dead scientists scientists who come forward or dare to come forward sinkholes strange bird activity and mass animal deaths including the 300 antelope that just suddenly get zapped and were decapitated by plasma probably from planet x pole shift strange everything the only explanation is planet x so thank you for watching have a blessed day and if anybody says to you that it is a hoax or it's a hologram, you need to unsubscribe because there are certain YouTubers who have crept into the YouTube community and start now saying that Planet X is a hologram and that itself is a deception. So beware of these deceivers. Have a blessed day. Thank you for watching.